Hello, Hoppington Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Paige Marshall, and thanks for watching. We begin with Mr. Rockwood and Fun Fact Friday. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday, and welcome to the English language. We'll begin with box, and the plural is boxes, but the plural of ox should be oxen, not oxes. Then one fowl is goose, but two are called geese. Yet the plural of moose should never be meese. You may find a lone mouse or a nest full of mice. Yet the plural of house is houses, not heis. If the plural of man is always called men, why shouldn't the plural of pan be called pen? The cow in the plural may be called cows or kine, but the plural of vow is vows, not vine. I speak of my foot and show you my feet. If I give you a boot, would a pair be called beat? If one is a tooth and a whole set are teeth, why shouldn't the plural of booth be called beef? If the singular is this and the plural is these, why shouldn't the plural of kiss be called keys? Then one may be that and three may be those, yet the plural of hat would never be hoes. We speak of a brother and also of brethren. But though we say mother, we never say metherin. That's it for today, folks. Be kind to one another and make it a great day. <clears throat> Hiccup has the sound of sup. My advice is give it up. Thank you. That ends my contribution. Last week, we had a special announcement from Student Council, and it went so well that they're back for another one. Hey, 8th graders, do the cold winter days have you down? Well, we're here from Student Council to tell you about an exciting gift exchange that will brighten up your holiday season. The 8th grade Secret Snowman Gift Exchange is a way for you to give a great gift, receive a great gift, and meet some great classmates. That sounds great. To participate, you'll make a $2 donation to Project Just Because and fill out a survey with some of your favorite things. Then, an anonymous classmate will draw your name and and the perfect $10 gift for you. You'll also receive a classmate survey and find the perfect $10 gift for them. That sounds perfect. If you'd like to participate, come to the student council table in the auditorium Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week with $2 cash. Gifts will be exchanged on the Wednesday before break, December 20th. Don't miss your chance to participate in this exclusive eighth grade activity. See a student council representative if you have any questions. Moving on for question of the day. Today we're asking, what's your strongest memory from grade school? Our favorite memory was in third grade and recess. We played tag together. My favorite memory from grade school was the fifth grade talent show. My favorite grade school memory would be when I was in my seventh grade English class and my glasses fell over and I went to bend down to pick them up and I took the whole desk with me and broke my glasses. <laughs> um, probably when we used to have recess. So when I was younger, one of my favorite classes was art class and I never, ever, ever won anything in art class, ever. But I did win a coloring contest in preschool. In third grade, it was the end of the day, and I was so happy that I threw my shoe out the window in excitement. When I tripped over a trash can in second grade. Probably during recess when I used to run around like a crazy child. In kindergarten, we went on the field trip, and it was upstairs. When I walked into a locker. My worst moment was in third grade, I got dared to lick the cafeteria floor, and I did it. My favorite memory from grade school. Can't say exactly what it was, but I can only say one word, and that's trash. We got one more segment for you. Recently, Miss Pinto had a Hiller 5K run, and HMS TV's own Manoli Bears was part of the action. For the past few months in Mrs. Pinto's 5K training class, we have been training for a 5K. So it started off quite hard. I mean, it was, it was a tough, tough task. And slowly over time, over the months, every class we would increase the amount of running time and slowly we would be getting better. Usually we would do some cow snacks to start to stretch out, but other than that, for the entirety of the class, it was just running, running, running. The day of the 5K rolled around. Going into it, I was pretty nervous since, I mean, we did a ton of training, but it was, it was still, it was pretty hard. So um, me and my friends, we finished it together and finished it strong. And in the end, we felt really good at it. 
Good work, everyone who trained hard and went the distance. And good work to all those who went the distance for another year. Happy birthday, everybody. And now you know what comes next. Last week's winner was Davis Pishoff. Congrats and we'll be in touch about your new water bottle. Everyone else, have you seen this? If so, drop us an email. That's all we have time for today, so reach us at hmstv at hillers.org with suggestions for people to interview. And have you seen this entries? And see all our stuff at hcam.tv slash hmstv. Now get out there and study hard. As, as, nope. Word in fun fact, what, Fred, no. By the way, there's a type Announcement from Coot Steps. Ah. High five. Yeah. Nailed it. No. <laughs>